Hello, my name is Bill Studer. I'm a lector here at St. Mary's. On behalf of our faith community, thank you for all the work that you've done in the past as a lector and will do in the future. You know, we lectors play a very important role at Mass. We do not merely read the readings. We are charged with the responsibility of proclaiming the Word of God. If we lectors do not bring strength and energy and enthusiasm to every reading, many members of the congregation will simply stop listening. For those people, God's message which we were attempting to convey will not be heard. Consequently, it's vitally important for every lector to do the best job he or she can do on every reading. To assist the lectors, St. Mary's has prepared Practical Tips for Lectors, a copy of which is enclosed with this videotape. Read it. Reread it. Keep it with the videotape and periodically review it. If every lector does so, all of the lectors will have consistency during the procedures at Mass. Moreover, if each of us implements the practical tips, we will all become better lectors. To assist us in becoming more effective lectors, we've also prepared this videotape. On it you will see seven lectors from St. Mary's, each doing one reading. The video was shot on different days and at different masses, so the quality of the video picture varies from person to person. Watch and listen carefully to each presentation so that you will understand what each person does to be an effective lector. The first person on the videotape is Tom Hines, who is a lector at the 11 o'clock mass. Tom's approach is unique among lectors at St. Mary's. He has almost memorized the reading. As a result, he is able to maintain almost constant eye contact with the audience. Listen also to Tom's pace. It is slow and measured, with pauses before words for emphasis. Here's Tom. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. Jerusalem, take off your robe of mourning and misery. Put on the splendor of glory of God forever. Wrapped in the cloak of justice from God, bear on your head the mitre that displays the glory of God's eternal name. For God will show all the earth your splendor you will be named by God forever the peace of justice, the glory of God's worship. Up Jerusalem, stand upon the heights, look to the east and see your children. They are gathered from the east to the west at the word of the Holy One. They're rejoicing that they are remembered by God led away on foot by their enemies, they left you. But God will bring them back to you, born aloft in glory as on royal thrones. For God has commanded that every lofty mountain be made low, and that every depth and gorge be filled to level ground, that Israel may advance, secure in the glory of God. The forest and all kinds of fragrant trees have overshadowed Israel at God's command. For God is leading Israel with joy by the light of his glory with his justice and mercy for company. The word of the Lord. Thanks. The next lector is Marilyn Duffy from the five o'clock mass. Marilyn has been blessed by God with a beautiful speaking voice and she uses it to be a dynamic lector. 
Notice the frequent eye contact. Listen to what Marilyn does with phrases such as, in those days, right and just, and the Lord our justice. Let's listen to Marilyn. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will fulfill the promise I made to the house of Israel and Judah. In those days, in that time, I will raise up for David a just shoot. He shall do what is right and just in the land. In those days, Judah shall be safe, and Jerusalem shall dwell secure. This is what they shall call her, the Lord our justice. The word of the Lord. Bill Schatz is a lector at the 730 Mass. Bill has a powerful speaking voice, and he uses it to be an effective lector. Listen to what Bill does with words such as holocaust and sin offerings. Bill is also very effective at telling the story of the reading. Pay particular attention when Jesus Christ speaks through Bill, beginning with, First he says, reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, when Christ came into the earth, he said, sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings, you took no delight. Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he said, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first, to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the suffering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Word of the Lord. Terry Reasoner is also a lector at the five o'clock mass. Terry's reading is an intelligent proclamation of the word. Interestingly, she does the same reading as Tom Hines. Listen to them both later and compare them. They are both effective lectors, but they have different styles. Terry also has excellent eye contact with the audience. Listen also to her pace. It is measured, but she varies it occasionally to maintain the interest of the listeners. Here's Terry. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. Jerusalem, take off your robe of mourning and misery. Put on the splendor of glory from God forever. Wrapped in the cloak of justice from God, bear on your head the mitre that displays the glory of the eternal name. For God will show all the earth your splendor you will be named by God forever, the peace of justice, the glory of God's worship. Up, Jerusalem, stand upon the heights. Look to the east and see your children gathered from the east and the west at the word of the Holy One, rejoicing that they are remembered by God. Led away on foot by their enemies, they left you but God will bring them back to you, born aloft in glory, 
as on royal thrones. For God has commanded that every lofty mountain be made low, and that the age-old depths and gorges be filled to level ground, that Israel may advance secure in the glory of God. The forests and every fragrant kind of tree have overshadowed Israel at God's command. For God is leading Israel in joy by the light of his glory, with his mercy and justice for company. The word of the Lord. Bill Duffy, Marilyn's husband, is also a lecturer at the five o'clock mass. Bill's presentation is a powerful proclamation of the word of God. Listen to Bill's strength during the reading when he tells us who Jesus Christ really is and when God, through Bill, announces, I am the Alpha and the Omega. Here's Bill. A reading from the book of Revelation. Jesus Christ is the faithful witness the firstborn of the dead and the ruler of the kings of the earth. To him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood, who has made us into a kingdom, priests for his God and Father, to him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming amid the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierce him. All the peoples of the earth will lament him. Yes, amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, the one who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. The word of the Lord. Mary Murphy is a lecturer at the nine o'clock mass. Mary's reading is only 10 lines long but she proclaims it with intensity and fervor. Listen to what Mary does with, Rejoice in the Lord always. I shall say it again, rejoice. Mary's pace is also varied, sometimes more quickly, sometimes slower, and with pauses before words for emphasis. Here's Mary. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord always. I shall say it again, rejoice. Your kindness should be known to all. The Lord is near. Have no anxiety at all, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your request known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. I'm a lector at the 11 o'clock mass. You will notice that I hold the book in my hands. For that reason, I'm able to glance down occasionally and quickly at the book while still maintaining good eye contact. Hopefully, the message of my reading is clear. We are all temples built by God. Notice the change of pace and the use of pauses, even in one line, such as, for the temple of God which you are, is holy. 
Here's my reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, you are God's building. According to the grace of God given to me, like a wise master builder, I laid a foundation, and another is building upon it. But each one must be careful how he builds upon it, for no one can lay a foundation other than the one that is there, namely, Jesus Christ. Do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For the temple of God, which you are, is holy. The word of the Lord. As you've seen and heard, all of the lectors are very effective, but they have different styles. At the same time, however, each of them have several things in common. Thorough preparation. Each of these lectors spends considerable time practicing the readings, usually out loud. You can't expect to be an effective lector if you only read through the readings several times on the day you are scheduled to be the lector. Preparation is the key to being a successful lector. Frequent eye contact. Thorough preparation allows you to have eye contact with all parts of the audience. Rather than look at the book and occasionally glance at the audience, look at the audience and occasionally glance at the book. Proper speed. You can almost never be too slow, but you can be too fast. Vary the pace of the reading. You must vary your pace, sometimes reading very slowly and deliberately, other times reading more rapidly. This creates interest in the listener. Effective use of pauses. Occasionally, Pause before a phrase or before a word to emphasize the importance of that phrase or word. And finally, bring passion to the readings. It may be called power or strength or intensity. Each of the seven lectors on this tape, in different ways, bring passion to each reading. As a result, they command the attention of the audience when they proclaim the word of God. Here's a final thought. Ask for God's help. Say a simple prayer to the Holy Spirit before beginning your reading. A prayer such as, Come Holy Spirit, help me to proclaim your word to St. Mary's parish. Good luck to you in your effort to be the best lector that you can be. On behalf of St. Mary's Parish, thanks for your ministry, and thanks be to God for giving us the word to be proclaimed and live.